I want to talk a little bit here about this video where uh, they're describing uh, witchcraft, uh, especially uh, they're saying that witchcraft is actually increasing uh, in actually Zumaliland. Uh, I kid you know, that's what they're saying. Remember, uh, what, what they're saying uh, basically is actually nothing new. This thing's been going on in Zumalia for many years and they've been saying uh, the same thing every freaking two years they they say the same shit i kid you know and so this thing goes back like i said before this thing goes back all the way to actually uh the arrival of these actually uh middle eastern arab entities and their spread of these middle eastern parasites i kid you not and so in here what they're saying is actually uh that uh, there is this town called the last Anod. again it's a zumali land somewhere it's a shithole somewhere in zumali land in called the last Anod in seoul uh the, so the, the district or it's, so it's actually um the place is zumali land uh the area is seoul and uh inside Seoul there is this town called last Anod. and so they're reporting that in this town there's a lot of people getting infected with these Middle Eastern parasites. And so that's what they talk about in the video. They're saying there's a lot of women actually getting infected with these actually uh, witchcraft. And they're saying, again, they don't know who's actually spreading these parasites. But they're saying there's a lot of actually women getting infected. And they basically, they're also saying that there's a lot of businesses also getting basically infected by these Middle Eastern parasites. And so they talk about basically what these actually uh, things are. So they interview sheikhs and they, they basically the sheikhs basically describe what these actually Middle Eastern parasites are and actually who's spreading them and actually in how they, actually, they can be spread. And so they're saying actually they mainly actually uh, targeting uh, in here. They're saying they're targeting businesses. That's what they have. The, uh, they are actually uh, in their video, they, the screenshot, uh, the, you know, the thumbnail is actually um, a business so they're saying they actually like i talked about this in the previous video they can actually install these pairs they can actually attach these parasites to actually to your business and they and they then they, they can actually shut down your entire operations i kid you not i don't know how they do it but they can actually insert something in your business and once they actually do that, what the parasite will do is either it will create some kind of a, it will basically uh, basically cover your entire business with a negative, basically, energy field. Or it will basically either attack the people. Uh, basically, it will create some kind of force field on your actually business and basically reduce your actually uh, customers. And eventually basically you will lose basically the uh, you know your actually uh, revenues and get basically shut down i kid you not and so they spread he he says in here in the video they're spreading these actually uh, parasites and shutting down a lot of businesses and like I talked about in the previous uh, video or not the previous one maybe the, the one before where they actually the sheikh makululi that guy was in this area somewhere in zumaliland in this area where he was claiming to be removing these middle eastern parasites and one of the women said yeah she had a business and she actually was actually shut down by these actually type of basically people spreading these middle eastern parasites they calling this uh witchcraft medito uh if you actually read the title of the video uh i'm gonna add their videos in the description uh, and so they call it a uh, medito that's the title of the video uh so the witchcraft this one they actually did they're saying that the witchcraft that the people are spreading in Las Ano uh, is the Medido. In Medido, they say uh, it's a, witch a type of witchcraft that basically is used to, to actually uh, make someone fall in love with you. That's what they actually, uh, that's what they say this type of witchcraft are, this type of witchcraft uh, are for. But then again, they say this type of witchcraft is also used to actually take control of someone else's business uh, again or maybe uh, shut down someone else's business so uh, so when, when they say actually it's used to make someone fall in love with you it's almost as if it's some kind of a love spell type of thing but then again they have all kinds of other witchcraft again for this type where they where they use general asha what they in, I, I kid you not, it's like I talked about these type, these things. They have different type of witchcraft, also called uh, something about, uh, I think, what was it called? Uh, 
Tiwala, I think the Tiwala might be this one, but in any case, they also use other type of parasites called Jinela Asha, or they called also Sihra Tafriq, the, uh, the witchcraft of separations. So, uh, this this thing is not specific, it's not specifically a type of witchcraft to make someone in love fall in love with so but that's what they call it but it can also be used to also uh, shut down a business and so but that's what they actually uh, named it they named it the uh, medito but in fact it's actually it's a type of witchcraft to actually um uh, take someone over that's what it is it's basically it's it's an infestation where they actually uh basically take the person's basically consciousness the the will of the person just to, that's what it is in fact it's so it has nothing to do with falling in love or uh basically uh shutting down business what what it is is basically it's it's, it's basically some kind of a a, a bio weapon that they can actually use to basically take control of the person's mind that they, they can manipulate and take basically control of a business to also manipulate that uh, business so basically it's a type of basically uh, or witchcraft this type of bioweapon some kind of an alien type of fucking tech that they're actually using to basically manipulate basically uh, uh basically this reality i kid you not and so they interview these uh, sheikhs, and uh, uh, the, so the, the the first sheikh says that uh, these things are haram, and they shouldn't be actually using these uh, parasites on us. Uh, he says the prophet actually forbade the use of these uh, of, of witchcraft uh, among the, the the Muslims, and all these basically blah blah. They actually uh, are basically uh, spread. But in fact, I mean, if you watch that uh, that Sudanese guy that they actually caught, the Sudanese guy said, if you, uh, he basically blew the lid on their basically uh, BS. He said, if you actually want to be an awliya, uh, basically a saint, you have to basically do black magic. They're basically Middle Eastern, basically witchcraft. That's the only way you can actually be an awliya and close to Allah. You have to talk to these Middle Eastern parasites and basically deal with them because the quran it's a witchcraft book but in here they say they say that you know if you actually practice that yeah it's haram it's just like when they tell you isis and all these basically terrorist groups are basically are not spreading uh, uh real islam or they're not real muslims when when in fact they basically are closer to the true form of islam and so this is what these double dealing uh, snake tongue basically uh, people basically spread i kid you not they say okay it's haram when actually it's not haram it's the whole religion is based on these middle eastern basic witchcraft and these middle eastern demons and so he says uh he talks about stories actually of course that he's, he's witnessed he's that uh, he talks about this woman he says that you know uh there was this woman who was basically infected by her brother he says the brother basically she was uh, supposed to marry this wealthy actually as uh, zumari he says but then the family didn't like it he says i kid you know that's what he says so they did witchcraft on her they they attached they say you know the witchcraft to a cane and then the brother basically hit her with the with the cane and she got infected and then she went basically crazy cuckoo he says and basically the, we and we knew something was like which then he, he, then he, they say the family figured because they he says the the mother didn't know about these things about uh, her, her getting infected they just to notice that the, the girl basically went crazy and basically was uh basically uh go running crazy basically in the village or whatever the fuck that they lived and so they say uh, she was brought to us, and then we he, we read the Quran. He says once we read the Quran, we noticed that there was something on her arms, and another one basically hit her with a cane in the arm, and then the jinn basically uh, released the arm, and she was basically uh, she became okay. And then he says, you know, uh, many of these type things are used to actually, uh, basically, many women also use these Middle Eastern parasites to actually, uh, on their husbands, to prevent them from marrying a, a second woman or a third woman or a fourth woman. And so these motherfuckers, he, he says, these parasites that can basically flip the mind, they can turn the person crazy, they can infect the person's heart, they can infect the person's actually, uh, uh, basically, uh, head and make that the person uh, uh, basically uh, insane 
and so he says i mean uh he uh this medido uh if someone doesn't actually want to marry you don't use medido he says uh he says i got four wives and none of them basically refused me so i don't know if he used medido on them but he says like uh you know do not use actually these uh, this witchcraft on people if they actually don't want to marry you and then they go interview another one and so this other one also talks about stories that actually is actually is witnessed and so he says uh he, there was this woman who actually uh, was in uh, in their elage elage is these uh, places where they actually exercise people uh from these uh, middle eastern parasites and he says this woman was actually infected and she was crazy uh he says she's still in the in that place and is still crazy he says uh but he says she had a son uh and he said there was this uh these women actually who sell cat cat is the, this narcotic actually plant uh, this uh, green leaf plant or called cat or cat uh and so these women sell these actually uh they, 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 this is some, some type of basic it's like the coca leaves type of thing but uh, in itself it's actually it's 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 not really like uh it's not really bad but if you keep eating it a lot many times then actually you know everything uh, every, everything that you consume constantly is going to eventually actually be detrimental to your health that's how bad it is but for the people who actually eat it once in a while maybe like once or two uh twice a week it's not actually uh, it doesn't actually harm them but the motherfuckers eat it basically chew it like uh seven days a week uh and so uh basically then it basically uh, uh it basically infects the mind and be opens the, the the head to these parasites and many of these motherfuckers are like infected like crazy and they basically carry these parasites like it's a it, so the infestation is actually it's it's a vector of basically infestation in in, in zoomedia and so in here he says uh, these women that uh, who actually sell these actually uh, plants had uh, a guy uh, who owned the money because uh, most of the people basically also borrow these uh, not borrow but they actually they buy them on basically on uh, on credit and some of them some of these women like uh, you know like the other woman in the video who said that like, you know they would come and then take uh things off her basically uh shop and not pay it back and then she would not she wouldn't she wouldn't be able to actually go ask them uh, to pay them back uh so she so the, that woman said she, she, they did the witchcraft on her uh but in here is actually the women who actually are owned the, the money who actually do the witchcraft on the customers to get their money uh, back and so these women basically gave this type of witchcraft to this uh, to this crazy woman's son but uh, and he but the, uh, the, the, the so this guy probably was like in the in the area or i don't know how it works but in any case they they have these kids that work of the uh, for them or these uh, basically zoomadies who work for them to do some kind of a chores because they have to uh, watch their actually a uh, cat stand and so they give this guy this witchcraft so that he could attach it to uh, one of the customers who earned the money so that that guy would give them their money back but also come and buy other cats from them so basically they were like they told the kid hey uh that to the zoomer guy hey that guy basically is not coming to buy the cat from us anymore or maybe he's he's actually uh there's no he doesn't have the uh, the, the will or the envy to to come buy the cat so we want you to do this witchcraft on him so that he will get the envy to come buy the cat and also uh, give us the money he actually own on us or something like that and so they give the witchcraft to this kid and the kid he says uh while he was on the way to actually to the guy to the target he came to visit his mom who was in the Silesh. And his mom basically the demons on his mom basically uh basically saw that this motherfucker was carrying another demon what he says actually was the demon was behind the the sun because they followed uh, the the people who carry these actually uh, parasites uh and so he says his mom basically uh, uh basically noticed or the demon on her mom basically uh told the woman okay this motherfucker carrying uh, basically a load and so she tells the son what is this witchcraft you're carrying and she touches the witchcraft he says and then she gets infected and so he says once she gets infected then we actually uh the the uh 
he says the actually the kid basically runs out of the house or out of the ilash and then the woman then tells us he says that he's carrying this witchcraft to infect a man and then he says we run after the kid and then basically uh you know tell the kid hey kid bring this witchcraft we're gonna have to basically destroy it and so he says we dismantled the basically witchcraft and it cut, cut it into pieces and then gave him some kind of a fake thing so that he could actually go there and then basically give it to uh, or maybe like uh basically uh attach it to the uh, to the target because they say the the other guy the other shake not this one not the story the other story the previous story that i talked about the other uh, guy talk, talked about how they infect people and he says he said they basically uh, infect something uh either a cane or something and then they basically touch that they basically uh, poke that thing uh, uh on they, they poke that they, they poke you with that thing and then that's how they infect you or they would basically uh blend uh the, the the witchcraft with something that you actually eat either food or milk or whatever so basically this is some kind of as a it's a, it, like it's normal biological basically a virus that's what that's what it, that's what it is but it's not a biological thing it's some kind of a etheric it's quantum shit i kid you not and so um and I don't know if it's an AI type of thing. Some of them behave like an AI, but some of them don't behave like an AI. Uh, and so um, he said, basically, then, you know, they destroyed that thing. They gave him, they, they, they gave to the kid a fake one. He goes and then tell tell him, go do that thing. And if you got, if he owns you money, yeah, get the money, whatever. And so he says, that's how they actually uh, infect people. And then he talks about another one also with uh, some kind of a, uh, another one with also a cane again. I kid you not. And so that's how the, uh, the they say uh, the, this guy basically uh, what he witnessed was. Then they interview this other Zumali uh, who actually uh, also talks about his actually experience with these Middle Eastern parasites. And so he says like uh, he says that these uh, basically Middle Eastern parasites have always been in Zumalia. And that the Zumali actually with that or the sheikhs were actually using these Middle Eastern parasites. Um, he says that the actually um, he's witnessed a story where he says uh, there was this actually a family. He said that the uh, you know they, they had these all these basically uh, goats and all these sheep. And uh, at one time that there was this woman that was actually uh, you know guarding them or something. And this shake or this guy comes out of nowhere and he reads something on basically on the woman. And she basically goes with him, he says. And he basically uh, marries her like that, he says. And uh, he uh, basically, uh, then he uh, he says he makes her father, basically, he father basically says 10 children and they were all basically sons. He says uh, these people are with that, he says, but they're not normal with that. They, he says they're like some kind of a, a evil or devil with that, or, uh, they, or they, they make themselves look like with that, or they pretend to be with that, he says, but they're not with that. So what he means by this shakes. So basically he says like, because uh, they, they, they don't use, some use shakes, but some use with that. And with that, again, uh, the, or with that though, uh, people would, were considering these type of, uh, basically these, uh, these the, with that were basically demons, but, but they are shakes actually. They look like normal shakes. They wear these Middle Eastern basically garments. They they, they pray like normal Zumanis. They actually go to, uh, to the mosque. They read the Quran. But people were calling them basically demons. I kid you not. And they, yeah, that just you know, uh, if, if you read that book, that guy I talked about, Muhammad Muhammad Abdi, uh, he talks about all these Middle Eastern parasites basically. And with that was one of them where they actually people were saying that these motherfuckers were basically demon. And I posted the videos where these motherfuckers can actually infect the people. It's basically a, the, the sheikh himself would infect the person. And so this guy is saying that yeah, these uh, these Zumaris basically they existed among the Zumaris, and you know these sheikhs basically were actually uh, people would go see these sheikhs to actually get this witchcraft from, and then they would these medido, and they would basically uh, do it. He says, he says yeah, ninety five percent of our sheikhs are good, but there's only a small portion who are bad and doing these type of things, and you know is infecting people and all these things, but that's a lie. 
a lot of these motherfuckers a lot of these sheikhs he says were like we're basically doing good basically witchcraft that's what they mean good is basically like when they do witchcraft to make it rain or you know to actually uh, uh, make grass come out of the ground that's good witchcraft uh, what he means is like the bad witchcraft is the one that's called the medida where you actually take over the the mind of the, the, the person and you make that person do basically what they actually uh, would not have uh, done otherwise basically you basically take over the will of the person and he says that's really bad and now he says uh, this, this is the type of things that we have now and it's widespread and then they show this uh, Zumali Sheikh who also uh, explain actually who actually explains what these uh, medidas are and so when what their effects are and so he's like yeah they will infect so once you get infected with this medido it will go up into your head and basically sp split your head it will give you all kinds of basically uh, uh, drainage it will create all these diseases and it will make you uh, uh, you know some of them you know if it's uh, the, the ones actually meant to separate you from something you will hate that thing uh he says and if it's the one that actually that, that 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 is used to make you fall in love with something you will love that thing he says uh you can't you would not actually do anything but basically dream about that thing you, you would want to actually uh, uh have that thing he says uh you would if you you, you basically it's like uh He's, ex he's explaining actually how these basically these middle eastern parasites actually once they infect you actually uh turn the person actually uh into some kind of a they, they took over the mind and so the, if you listen the way how he's explaining it it's exactly the type of witchcraft they use for uh, basically for the religion i kid you not they spread these middle eastern parasites and they basically make you fall in love with allah they're they're fucking middle eastern basically demons that they're they are basically ancestral parasites i kid you not and so you would want to pray to that basically a middle eastern parasite to that basically a demon uh to the kaaba demon you would you you would not actually be doing anything but uh, basically praising him you would not actually want to be actually uh you wouldn't you wouldn't want to disobey him what whatever the fuck this motherfucker is talking about it's exactly basically what they do for their basically uh, their demon religion i kid you not they use these same i don't know if they use this medido for their allah demon but this whatever the fuck that he's talking about in here basically uh when they actually do this type of witchcraft on people and take over that person's basically will free will it's exactly the same shit that these motherfuckers actually do for their fucking allah demon i kid you not and so it's a religion that basically uses middle eastern parasites to actually spread itself i kid you not i don't know what this thing is i don't know if it's an ai or it's if it's some kind of a parasite like you know these uh but the, when they show you this motherfucking thing they look like some kind of a basically parasitic animal type of fucking thing but then it also behaves like an ai i kid you not it's like that motherfucker when he talks about that that, that kid who had this parasite this witchcraft and was uh, was assigned to go basically infected that that man for the cat that parasite basically infected the woman because the you know the the the, it, the target can be anybody actually it, it's not unless they have some kind of a basically an energy signature of the target this motherfucker does not basically understand that the, did not understand that the target was the old man for the cat it infected basically the mother so i don't know if it's some kind of a fucking a low iq fucking a middle eastern gin fucking entity because they tell you these gin are fucking they have shit for brains or if it's some kind of an ai that's basically intelligent and knows what actually it was actually meant to i this i don't know what it is but if you listen to how this motherfucker describes these actually they're basically middle eastern parasites it's the same shit they use for the religion i kid you not and if you look at the uh, the people who are infected by these uh, parasites, nine out of ten of these people are women. I kid you not. So it's the women who actually they say the medido basically this witchcraft is often used by actually uh, by so it's it's used by the men who actually want to marry women, uh, who they who would 
uh, who who would have refused them or something like that, who actually used his witchcraft to do basically take over her mind. But the women they said also use these type of witchcraft to actually prevent the men from marrying multiple women, uh, because that's what Islam does. These uh, the Muslims actually they can marry up to four women, and so he they say they say that both actually sides actually use these uh, Middle Eastern witchcraft, these parasites. But when you look at the actually what's going on on the ground, nine out of ten of the infectees are women. I kid you not. And so it's it's a it's, a, it's as if they're targeting these women because they 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 they're able to because at some point the sheikh the first sheikh say or oh, was it the uh, was it the second one I don't know one of these uh, motherfuckers said that they target these women because they know that they actually I think it's the uh, the guy with the green uh, with the green background that the Zumali guy who talked about the with that something. Uh, who said they actually tra they can transmit these actually parasites to the next generation or something like that? I don't know. One of them said something like about the uh, some kind of a, a generational curse, and so they infect the women because the women will probably transmit the parasite uh, basically to the child, and so she's the perfect actually vector of basically transmission because nine out of ten of the infectees are women. I kid you not. And some say it's because they spread these actually, uh, they, 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 I, I don't know, but because it's, it's, I don't know which one of the two groups actually use, actually, uh, uses actually the para, the, the witchcraft, but it's women tend to be, they say, uh, tend to be actually, because they're not, they, they're not actually good practitioners of it. They actually, they are taught by men. Uh, the men actually, even the men are the Zumani men are actually low IQ motherfuckers. They actually don't know how to. They actually hire other people, either the Sudanese or some other uh, base, because these motherfuckers, in order to talk to these parasites uh, and get the most out of the motherfuckers, you have to know Arabic. Uh, the, the you know these motherfuckers actually, um, I I kid you not, these motherfuckers don't speak Arabic. And so you need someone who actually uh, knows Arabic and oh, uh, maybe some of these motherfuckers uh, know Arabic, like the Marabout type of thing. And, and they actually, uh, uh, basically, they can talk to these parasites. But in any case, the people who actually know these things say that these motherfuckers, uh, you know, speak Arabic, need someone that, that speaks Arabic uh, fluently. You have to talk to these motherfuckers. And so, uh, so I, the men do not seem to be infected as 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 much as the women and i don't know why they targeting the women or i don't know if the women are uh, uh, some kind of a vector that they actually prefer but the most likelihood is probably is because she's able to transmit the parasite to the child or something like that uh and so nine out of ten of the infectees are women and these women will bring these parasites and then to europe and whatever because everywhere the zoomatis are basically located they're spreading these parasites. I kid you not. So I don't know if the Arabs are basically using them to spread these actually things, but the entire society is basically at its core is infected with these Middle Eastern parasites. And it's been like that for generations. I kid you not. The moment that the oral tradition that they say is like these motherfuckers actually, the moment that they came here were already carrying these parasites and they spread these parasites these motherfuckers are shape shifted into some kind of a basically a humans and that's how they actually spread i kid you not and the women if you look at the woman that's on the picture of the the, the page it's a woman that carrying something she's dancing with some kind of a baffled goat and uh it's it has the shape of actually of a woman it's dressed in burqa but it's not a woman this thing is is an alien I kid you not, and it's carrying something. It is carrying something on its actually uh, on its belly. So I don't know if it's a jinn. I don't know if it's some kind of a Middle Eastern, uh, basically a god that these motherfuckers. I do not know, but it's actually dancing in a festivals in a Eid and Muslim festival. It's a Muslim entity. They tell you these Middle Eastern parasites, these jinn can be Muslim, they can have their own families, they are they can be good, they can Islamize people. I can't you know, that's what they, they, they say. Um and so they but they only they don't like the, the ones that they don't like are the Christian ones and the Jewish ones. I kid you not. But the Muslim ones are fine. And so 
it's a religion basically based on these Middle Eastern parasites. It's a religion created by serpent seed people, by people who were created by fallen angels, watchers, whatever the fuck these motherfucker Anunnakis, all these uh, serpent seed people, reptiles, whatever the fuck these Deva, Divas, Jin, Naga, whatever the fuck these motherfuckers were created uh, by. And they carry these fucking parasites. I kid you not. And they spread these parasites. And many of these motherfuckers created hybrids in Zumalia. And these motherfuckers, even the Sheikh said, they can actually show you their fucking serpent seed, rotten nasnas from growth side. And they can show you their human side. And this motherfucker can become a Sheikh. It can become an Agil or what they call a Garase, the red beard motherfuckers. Low IQ as fuck. Uh, sh- got shit for brains. But, you know, he, he's going to be a leader. He's going to be a leader of the clan. He's going to be this and that. And he will lead the motherfuckers. I kid you not. And this is what these motherfuckers basically uh, uh, basically have a spread. The entire fucking land is infected with these fucking parasites. And nobody knows where they're actually coming from. Nobody knows who actually is making them. But they are basically, like they say in the video, they're destroying businesses. And they're basically infecting the entire people. It's a crazy shit.